Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing great and fantastic in the world. Before this goes out, I'm doing something different. I was um, guided to come on my couch and um, to sit on my couch. Sorry, let me rephrase that. To sit on my couch and just kind of bring in whatever channel messages you guys need for today. So right now we're going to release any judgment, anger, negativity, any resentment, any any and all attachments, negative attachments, um, any kind of spell work or anything. We're going to release that, any kind of um, black magic, dark magic from my channel and from you viewers who is watching me right now, okay? It's very, very important that we keep clearing our energy. They have been on me like crazy to clear my energy. Okay, they had me, um, okay, first off, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like my readings and you like how I read, how my energy is. Um, these are not gonna be tarot today. I know a lot of people want me to do tarot and I get that, but I'm not a one hit wonder. I could do a lot more <laughs> than just tarot, but um, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's almost like they just wanted me just to, just to talk today, just to talk. Um, I love the smell of sage. Ooh, I'm clearing your guys' energy too, and I'm sending you lots of love and lots of healing. Um, anybody who sent me donations, anyone who has sent me extra, anyone who has emailed me or texted me or reached out to me just to find out if I'm okay and just to find out or just to let me know that you guys really do love what I do and that I am helping. Um, I love you guys. I am so grateful um, for all of you. Please know that I am so grateful for all of you because honestly, um, you know, I, I go back and forth sometimes, but it's okay. Anyways, um, with that being said, I was reminded today of, um, from a friend, from a friend, she's a dear, dear friend. Um, I was reminded today of my, of remembering who I am. And she actually went and she actually went and went to my introduction videos today and she was bawling her eyes out and she contacted me about it because I was talking about remembering your your divinity. And this was five years ago that I did these um, channeled messages on, you know, back when I was going through a hard time. But anyways, I was going through a hard time and I ended up channeling the messages anyways and giving the messages out for you guys from spirit. So um, I'm not very fond of those videos. The messages are great. I just... I look back and I'm like, man, I was so unhappy back then and everything. And it's almost like I, she reminded me of looking back and seeing how far I've come to now. And I think that's part of the message today is we have to remember how far we have come. Okay. We're still here. We're still breathing. We're still alive. Those of you that are blessed with waking up in the morning and just being able to see the sunlight or just being able to, you know, be around people that love you. That's a freaking blessing. Um, and remembering who you are and remembering why you're here and remembering, like, obviously, if you're not gone, God still has a purpose for you. Some people don't get that right. Some people don't get that you know, the luxury of still being here. Um, so remember how blessed you are. Remember to be grateful for every moment in your life. This past weekend, I had a really hard time and I found out other people had a really hard time too. And I think something's been moving in the collective, but I also feel like it's, um, I'm hearing it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. There's something coming. And I was hearing in the shower, now there's a bird on my wire outside, um, I was hearing in the shower, we're heading into a huge, I think we've already been there. Some of us have already been there. Um, a new world, a new earth, a new timeline, a new dimensional way of reality. 
Um, if you're still in that lack mindset and poverty mindset, it is very hard to get out of that lack mindset and poverty mindset. And I get that. But you have to remember that the mind is a powerful tool. And the more you overthink and the more you consistently sit there and just feel stuck and all this other stuff, pray to God and go to sleep. Give it to God and go to sleep. <clears throat> I don't know why, too. They, they guided me to wear my giraffe leggings today, something about giraffe. And they guided me to wear pink today. I was actually wearing a yellow dress and I was like, I don't want to wear this dress. And I am like... I'm literally just feeling so, feeling the energy of the pink and the rose quartz and the rhodonite and stuff like that. And it's like the love, the self-love, the unconditional love, the, the just, you know, just loving on yourself. And maybe that's what is meant right now. And the sun is shining even more as I talk about this right now. We are multidimensional beings. We are literally here to learn lessons on earth. And everybody's our mirror. Everyone that comes into our life is a mirror. They're here to teach us a lesson. They're here to help us. They're here to support us. Or they're here just to, you know, get us back on track, I guess, I want to say. Lots of lessons. Earth is a school. We have to remember that. Okay. Earth is a school and we are here to learn. And there's like a lot more going on than we can see. All right. So we need to remember why we came here, who we are, what is our purpose. If you're here to speak your truth, keep speaking your truth. If you're here to help children, keep helping children. If you're here to Tap into your abilities and your gifts more. Do that. Speaking of children, so I wasn't going to talk about this today, but because it just came back in my head, they want me to. I'm not very proud of it, but it is what it is. Um, many of you here, many of you here know that I am a mom, okay, and I have uh, three children. <clears throat> my youngest yesterday, he always has a problem with going out to stores. He's always complaining He's always walking around with a puss on his face. Always like, got to always have the last word and everything else. And I love my Kyle. You guys know I love my baby. But I lost it yesterday with him. Like I lost my shit. And I have not lost my shit with my kids in a very freaking long time. Because I've been trying to be calm and stuff. And I, then I realized after leaving the store, I'm like, oh, it was Walmart. <laughs> and I'm not trying to dog out Walmart, but... If anybody knows, like, Walmart, sometimes, like, when I look at the building, it's like a cesspool. And I'm just like, Ugh. So right away, I was like, oh, we're going to have to sage when we get home. Um, but he always argues with his sister. And we were having, like, this big, humongous fight. And, like, I lost my shit. And, like, I didn't lose it. Like, anyways, nobody's perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. But... He was crying so hard and I was so angry and so mad. And then me and my daughter were putting groceries away. Um, and then he was sitting in his room and I had asked him if he wanted something to eat. And he said, no, mom, I just want to be alone. I just want to be alone. And he was just sobbing and crying. And I just remembered like looking at him and feeling all of that energy and hearing he's you. And I was like, shit. So I walked up to him and I sat down next to him and I had a talk with him. And I let him know like how I felt and why I was the way I was and all this other stuff. And he was letting me know what was going on with him. And I says, you need a hug. And he just came, I said, come here, bring it in. And he gave me a hug. And it was like the most tender, loving hug. And sometimes we just need to fucking hug somebody. Sometimes we just need to hug our children and let them know that they are loved. And I felt so good about me and him talking about stuff and how he felt and how I felt. And, you know, kids don't have it really easy these days. And like yesterday he had me doing Lego movie, like the watching the Lego movie. And on the one movie that we were watching, the Ninjago movie, the one kid was getting like completely bullied and people were talking bad about him. And I was like, geez, I was like, 
really? I was like this poor kid. And Kyle goes, that's how it is nowadays, mom. And I was just like, huh. But I was bullied when I was a kid, but I know it's worse now. <clears throat> to the point where my oldest son didn't even want to be known as one of the smartest kids in the school. And he was super, like, he's super, he's very intelligent. Like, his SATs were high. There's so much. And with him, he said because people get bullied for being smart. People get bullied for being, like, nerds and all that kind of stuff. And he said, I, and his teachers would tell me, like, he's got so much potential and blah, 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 blah. And apparently he just told my nephew <clears throat> that if he could go back to school and do it all over again and change the way he was in school and work really hard towards his grades and get better, he would change it. We can't change the past. We can honor the past. But there's something here about, and I'm I'm not really fond about school. That's not one of my favorite things. And if you're a teacher and everything like that, more power to you. I understand that. But there's different kinds of teachers. And I, I just know... There's things I don't agree with, but there's something about honoring your past and honoring how far you've come and looking back and not having any regrets, not having and like looking at it like it's a mistake because mistakes are made, right? We're not perfect. Nobody here is perfect. And I don't need to sit here and preach to everybody here. And this is, like I said, this is going to be a very different video <clears throat> because I feel like people need to hear this. All right. <sighs> We were not designed for us to just have pain and suffering. Yes, we've come here with past lives. Yes, we've come here with karmic debt we've had to pay off and like lessons to learn and everything else. But we truly as divine beings need to know who we are, need to know our power and not let us, not let anybody stop us. No bullying, no talk back, nothing trying to stay calm in your own energy and trying to stay more grounded and in high vibe. It is hard to do that if you are an extreme empath. And I'm talking to my extreme empaths right now. It is like I, I, I'm i right with you. It's very hard to be around public. And, um, you know, you have to be very careful with your energy. And the thing is, like, I'm so grateful for the people that I have in my life, even the ones that have left my life. Even the ones that God has taken out of my life, you know, it doesn't mean they're going to be gone forever. And some of them have been, but it's like, they've all taught me something. All right. And I know I've taught them something somehow, some way, but everybody has a purpose. So realizing that you are loved, you are worthy, you are deserving of like so much respect and love and honor and appreciation. It's time for you. Thank you, Blackbird. Just flew across. It's time for you to appreciate where you are in your life and accept what you can't change, right? The serenity prayer. I don't know the whole prayer. I just know I have it hanging up in my room, but um, acknowledge where you are right now. If you literally had a business or had worked a job and all this other stuff, and all of a sudden things are starting to fall apart, you know that old saying, things are starting to fall apart. And the reason why is because things are about to fall right into place. It's almost like a reset, a reboot on your life. There's something here about if you have a job or you had a job and you lost your job or somebody fired you or whatever like that, that's that tower moment coming in because God does not want you to work there anymore. Okay. There's something within your soul, within your being that needs to be let out. And a lot of you are so fucking scared to let yourselves be seen. So scared and hiding yourself. Fear is just an illusion. <clears throat> it is just a fucking illusion. Okay. There's people out here in the world that are going to want to keep you down. That are going to want to like slander your name and, and make you feel less and all this other stuff. Don't let them. Don't let them. You are a divine being of God. You are like literally here helping, doing what you're here to do. Even if you're washing dishes or doing somebody's laundry, taking care of kids, going out and doing construction, you're still doing something that's within your soul and within your purpose. You, it still matters. It's still something. 
Okay. Don't let the noise, I'm hearing the noise, keep you from the distractions, the noise, the... Yeah, don't let them keep you from being who you truly were meant to be. All right? I love to empower and inspire and, like, help people. That's just who I am. Because I see the soul. I see the divinity in somebody. And there's some people I just can't hang out with. And I understand why. But it's like, even though I see it, they don't see it. And it's not my job to sit here and make everybody understand and awaken everybody. That's not my job. My job is to be that guiding light for those of you who feel like you've lost your way. My job is to be that guiding light for those that don't have a voice, that can't speak. Children, animals. Oh, speaking of which, insects, right? Yesterday, I was walking into Walmart with my daughter. And something flew in my hair. I was like, oh, my God. Because I knew. I was like, oh, my God. And she was like, Mom, that's a bee. She's like, a bee was in your hair. She's like, don't worry, it flew out. And I was like, a bee? And I know you guys have watched my videos, those of you that have. The bees keep coming to my windows by my car and everything else. And bees mean abundance. And the fact that it fell on top of my head, I'm telling you, if I can believe in miracles, so can you. You just have to believe it and have faith. Yes, I have been losing my faith the past weekend and stuff like that. But I've always had, it was like not losing my faith, but losing trust in myself and losing belief in myself and what and why I was here. But then, like I said, people reached out to me, like out of nowhere. And like miracles were performed for me yesterday. It was insane. And I was just like, wow. And then my mom had called and it's like, all right, God. See, that's the thing. Like there's a lot of people out here needing help and just trying to friggin' survive. And I get it. I get it. Sorry about my stomach. I'm hungry. <laughs> but I don't normally like to eat before I do a reading um, because sometimes it just messes my stomach up. But the bottom line is I had a reminder this morning about how far I've come and who I was back then. <clears throat> I'm still the same damn person. But it's just incredible how my channel has risen from five years ago. And I totally forgot about why I was here. You know, and sometimes you get that way. Some people don't feel like they have a purpose. You're still breathing. Obviously, God's not done with you yet. 1808 on the clock. <clears throat> so let me see what other channel messages I can get for you right now. Because some of you, I'm hearing some of you need closure. Some of you need to close a chapter and you're being very resistant and reluctant to close a chapter in your life because you're nervous to step forward and to start new and to like make a change. Change is eminent. Change is the only constant. If you keep pushing against the current, you're resisting. Take the path of least resistance. Okay, if you're having this feeling of going on YouTube and going on TikTok and talking about stuff, and, you know, that's what stopped me my first time going on my video. I was trying to go on, this was five years ago. I didn't know what to talk about. And God just told me, just talk, just talk, it'll come. And that's what I did. If you are so scared to put yourself out here because you're afraid your face is going to be seen, you're afraid people are going to know you, people are going to judge you, you're holding yourself back from actually being like your full potential. And I could see potential in people. And sometimes people do not live up to their potential. And unfortunate, that's an unfortunate thing. Because what I can see in others and what other psychics and seers and everything can see in others, um, some people are just too scared to like 
change their ways or do something different, you know, speak out against things for fear of um, rejection or bullying or fear of the society. And like, you know, even like people that like even going and not something about like wearing certain clothes and it's almost like, Oh, I have to like keep up with the Joneses. You don't have to keep up with anybody, but God and your team and yourself. God is light lighting the way for you. And this is the thing I was talking about with the guiding light. I know I go all over the place. I'm a Gemini like Venus. So, <laughs> so I have a little bit of Gemini in me. Um, but like, um, <sighs> Crap, I forgot what I was just going to say. It'll come back to me. Um, but there's something here about needing closure and finding the place within yourself to be okay with what's happened in your life and forgive yourself and forgive others that have hurt you. And some people are not going to, are not ready to forgive. And that's understandable. But if you can't forgive others, at least forgive yourself for the time being is what I'm hearing. But there's going to be a time coming, Spirit saying, that you're going to have to forgive the people that have hurt you, the people that have made you. Some of you are harsh. Some of you have a hard heart. Um, some of you have a lot of healing that needs to be done, a lot of work that needs to be done. I'm not perfect either, guys. I'm still doing the work, okay? But there's something here about feeling guilty. And I know I was feeling guilty. And I know I said that to you guys, I was feeling guilty about taking the time out for me and resting and all this other stuff. And I feel like I should be doing, 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 but that's not the case. God and spirit, my spirit team, my galactic team has been telling me you need to rest. You need to be in receiving mode. You need to lean back. You've done a lot. Just lean back right now. And that's what I've been trying to do with my life. And I've noticed since I've been leaning back, since I've been in receiving mode since like yesterday afternoon, like I had to lean back. And, um, cause that what, what happens is that will create resentment, right? That will create some sort of chaotic inner turmoil in your life, in your body in your vessel. And then you're holding on to that. Thank you, spirit. They said something about clearing up space. So yesterday, yesterday, the day before I was guided to go on, certain channels that I don't watch anymore and unsubscribe. And it's not because I didn't like the readers. It's not because I didn't like the messages. It's more or less because I'm getting to the point where I don't want too much energy in my space, but I also don't want, um, like I don't watch that much tarot that much anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because it gets confusing and it's almost like, we're all going in the, we're all in the same boat pretty much. All right. Your intuition, your inner guidance is what's more important. You following whatever your intuition is telling you and praying. If you don't know what to do, pray about it. Ask your team. They're wanting you to ask them for help. They're waiting. They have jobs that they can be doing but some of you are so scared to ask for help from your spirit team, from God, from your angels, from your guides, from your ancestors. Shit, I know my dad's been with me. I know my grandma's been with me. That's why my mom calls. <laughs> she's, always like, she's always like, I'm just checking in on you. I'm like, dad and grandma, huh? She's like, yep. But that's the truth. It's like, check in with yourself too. If something doesn't feel right to you, you need to check your intuition and, and, and ask God for more discernment. More discernment on if, if, you know, if this is the right thing to do or whatever. You will get a confirmation. God will send you a message or send somebody, you know, that gives you a message or will give you confirmation right away. Whether it's number synchronicities, whether it's a bird, whether it's an insect, Remember I said yesterday about the dragonflies were like crazy. That's about healing. But dragonflies is the dragon energy. There's so much going on in the planet right now that we're not seeing. And it's okay. We don't need to see what's going on everywhere. 
But what we need to do is stay in our own lane and focus on us and focus on our own healing journeys and focus on what we're doing. Because the more we focus on us, the more we focus on our healing, the more we focus on what makes us happy, we're helping the collective that way. Um, somebody here needs to write a book. I'm hearing that right now. Somebody here needs to absolutely write a book. There's an inspiration that's going to be coming to you. And if this is resonating with you, great. If it's not, that's fine. Some people are not going to watch this video. I get it because they don't want to, they don't want to hear the channel messages. They want the tarot. Listen, like I doing what I'm like being told. I'm, I'm obedient. Yeah. Somebody here needs to write a book. Somebody here is an author. Somebody has a lot of um, potential to be great, but you're holding on to like the monotony of your life. <clears throat> Others of you right now are meant to listen more to music and like do something with music or do something with nature, creative, something about plants and animals and being out in nature. Um, some of you are gardening right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing somebody like planting, like somebody's wearing a hat and they're planting like a flower in the garden or like vegetables in the garden. Um, some of you are just trying to get by. I'm seeing somebody who's really trying to get by like very like, very sad. But don't be sad. God hears your prayers. God hears everything. You think God don't hear anything? God hears everything. I swear. I swear I'm a walking testimony of it. There's something about your pride and your ego. And some of you, again, if this resonates, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Your pride and ego sometimes gets in the way of what you know your soul is longing to do. And all you have to do is have that desire. All you have to do is just tell God, this is what I want to do. Because some people are so scared that they don't have the money or the funds or they don't have, you know, where do they start? Just start. Just start somewhere. Okay. I get it. Trust me, I get it. Um, but you got to start somewhere. And if you put that action out there that you want to do something and you follow through with that action, then you get that intuitive hit that says, okay, I've done enough. Let me just lean back and, and like God will bring it. And you have to believe that God will bring it to you. But you also have to like go about your day and do something else. You know? Yeah, I'm hearing something about timing. Somebody's worried so much about timing. And it's like, don't worry about the timing. Don't worry about any of that. The timing, time is just, uh, neither here nor there. But the thing is, I don't know if that's thunder in the sky again or what. There's something about not worrying so much about the time, but just maybe the timing is for you to take time out for yourself and to have more self-care and to more love, love more on yourself, you know? And if you're looking for closure, there's, I keep hearing, going back to closure because I keep hearing it. If somebody here is looking for closure, give yourself that closure. If you're waiting for somebody to give you closure, don't worry about that other person to give you closure. Just give yourself that closure. This way you can move forward. You know, this way you can find, I'm hearing, find the courage to move in a different direction. And like, like I said to you guys, change is imminent. Okay. And I'm telling you, I know I keep saying, I know I keep saying it and people are getting frustrated and I get it. Change is coming. This person's coming. This person's going to communicate. Listen, if I fucking knew everything, I would not be here. Like, I have to, I have to do things too. And like, just because I'm a seer, just because I'm a psychic, just because I'm a reader does not mean that I know fucking everything. I don't. All right. I am not sitting here up, up here saying, Hey, 
I'm a seer, so I know everything that's going to happen in the world. I know everything about the future. I know the lottery numbers. I used to get that a lot. Oh, well, if you know, if you know, if you're psychic, what are the lottery numbers? I'm like, you think I'd be over here if, if I fucking knew the lottery numbers? If I knew? Like, get that don't work that way. And then I've had people come up to me. Oh, you're a psychic? Read me right now. What, what are you picking up on me? I'm like, it don't work that way. I'm like, I have, I have a lot that I have to do in order to tap into your energy. Now, I could tap into anybody's energy. That's not what I'm saying. But it's like, there's a time and a place for everything. And some people just wanted to just get readings out of me in the middle of a fucking huge-ass crowd. I'm like, yeah, you see how many people are here? Uh-uh. I'm not picking up on everybody else. I have to focus on that one person. Somebody here is worried so much about money. Like, I keep seeing money, too. Don't worry about your finances. Don't worry about your money. It's all going to be taken care of. There's something somebody here has been saving up for. Somebody's, somebody's been trying to get the right amount of cash. Stop focusing on how much cash you need. Stop focusing on the fucking amount. I swear to you. I fucking swear to you. Okay, perfect example. I had something happen with my banking the one day. And I was really upset. And I was like, okay. And I called the banking because they wouldn't give me back my overdraft. I was like, all right, well, you know that. And they were like, well, you know, this, this, and that. They said they weren't going to give it back to me. Okay. And it was a good amount of money. It was like 150 bucks or something like that. I was like, seriously? I was like, you, I was like, I didn't know about any of this, right? Long story. So, I, you know, my mom calls. I was talking to her. And she's like, you tell them you want to talk to the manager. I'm like, you know what, mom, don't worry about it. I know I'm going to get it back. I shit you not that same fucking day. I literally got the same fucking amount back through other sources, through other people. I needed that amount so that I could cover something. And God said, there you go. We'll send it. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. It's minuscule. Something about it's minuscule. Whatever you're thinking you need for a bill or for some sort of, I don't know. There's something here about that. Don't worry about it. God's going to take care of it. God is going to take care of it as long as you have faith and trust. Okay? You have to remember that we are not living. Like, yes, we see 3D but we're not technically living a 3D reality. We're living in a different reality. It all matters on how you perceive it. You have to start changing your perspective and changing your view, all right? We live in, thank you, spirit. We live in a magical world. We are magical beings. We are divinity. We are divine. We can create any fucking reality we want. But if you keep creating the reality of struggling, if you keep creating the reality of I don't have this and I don't have that. Like, I know I get it, guys. I'm not perfect. Like I said, but like you have to remember, why are you so focused on what you don't have instead of what you do have? Gratitude is a very, very, very strong frequency to have. If you're having trouble being grateful for the things that you have. If you're having trouble being in this mindset of, you know, positivity and high vibe, take a salt bath, take a salt shower. If you don't have a bathtub, just put like Himalayan salt or whatever, whatever kind of salt on you. Um, some people would argue with me and say, not, not, you know, regular table salt, but salt is better than nothing, like any salt. Um, just visualize like, stuff coming out of your body and just being pulled out from you and visualize light going inside and pushing out the negative stuff. Even when I do this, this is the motion of like, for me, pulling stuff out of my energy and pushing it out, not pushing it out to y'all, but pushing it out, like for it to be healed, you know, and call your power back, call your energy back. When you call your energy back, make sure you literally say, I call my energy back to me that is mine. Healed, transmuted into love and healing and abundance, whatever you want to call it. But make sure it comes back healed and transmuted. And give back energy to other people. 
If you've taken somebody's energy, it's time for you to give them their energy back. Healed. Send love and light. It does help. Okay? Even if this person is your enemy, even if this person is somebody you can't stand and you don't want to be around them, whatever, send them love and light. It don't matter. Like, why? Hate promotes more hate. The more you send love and light and ask them or say to God, I pray for them to heal. I pray for them to have enlightenment. Prayer is a powerful, powerful thing. If you forgot how to pray, just start, start talking to God. My son said that to me the one day he's like, mom, I don't pray the way you do, but I just say it like this. And I said to him, however you say it is however you say it. But he had that belief. He just said it, left it, felt the emotion. But it's like you don't have to like sit there on your knees and pray. You don't have to sit there and, and constantly look in a freaking Bible to say a prayer. You don't have to do that all the time. If that's something that you do, great. You do you, boo. I'm not telling you how to do it, how to do, how to do your prayers. But mindful meditation, same thing. Meditation is the same thing as prayer. To me, it's the same thing. You could be doing mindful meditation and you, while you're, while you're, Washing dishes while you're doing laundry. Water is a very big conduit, you know, because we're made of water, right? We're all made of water and water holds memory. All right. It does hold memory. There's a lot of things that you could learn about water. You can look up other, other YouTube videos on water holding memory and everything else if you don't believe me. But there's something about being around water and like, it's, it's, it's a channel, right? Some of you can actually channel the energies of the elements. Some of you can do that. But you're sitting on it. Some of you have abilities and gifts that you don't want, like, or, or that you want to know more about, but you're reluctant to do the practice and use it, you know? The reason why when I started, I'm telling some of my experiences here too. The reason why I, I started tarot when I was 12. I was actually um, watching my best friend at the time, her mom. She used to do tarot readings for people. And I was watching her. And then I wanted my own tarot deck. And my mom would say, it's sacrilegious. It's the devil's work. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not listening to my mother. I needed it at that point because I was like, it's a tool for me. But tarot is used as a tool to tap into your intuition, but also for guidance for you, you know? The thing is, you some people need tarot, some people don't. Some people need oracles, and that's okay too. But some people just need to realize their own light within them and their own intuition, like I said to you earlier, I am here to be a guiding light for others. I know that. To have a voice or be the voice for other people that don't have a voice, that are scared to come out and say something and to speak my truth as well as speak the truth and the messages that I get from God, okay? But some of you here are, most of you, actually a lot of you on my channel, are supposed to be a guiding light for other people. And some of you really, really do it. Don't hold yourself back because you're scared. I know I keep going back to that, but that's the truth. Um, I'm going to see if there's any other channel messages for the collective. Mm -mm. Just that you're divine and just that you're worthy. You can create so much love just by putting love into yourself. Love is a very powerful, powerful thing. Gratitude, love, authenticity, being vulnerable. Some of you have had really fucking hard lives and my condolences, but it made you to where you are today. It made you the person you are today. Do not look at yourself like you're a fucking loser. Do not look at yourself like you're never gonna amount to anything. Okay, if you are, I'm hearing make a change. I'm gonna make a change. 
Oh, I must remember. There's uh, Man in the Mirror by uh, Michael Jackson. You need to look in the mirror and tell yourself every day you are divinely protected, that you are loved, that you are worthy, that you are deserving of love, real, genuine love, and that you are beautiful in every single way, in, in the eyes of God. No matter how big or small you are, no matter, you know, what you drive, what kind, what kind of house you live in, if you're homeless, if you're not homeless, if you're carless, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. Remember that you are here, okay, and that you're still breathing, and it's a gift. It really is a fucking gift. And it's going to take you some time. I'm hearing, I keep hearing that song. I want to, I want to, I'm going to read the lyrics because that's what I do. <laughs> I think somebody's copying my daughter on her friggin' thing. I'll have to ask her. Anyway. Um, and if you have children, love on your children. Especially if, um, cause I told Kyle yesterday, I said, all you guys want is time, time with me. And I said, that's what I can give you is quality time. I'm like, I don't have all the money in the world. I don't have, you know, a house that we live in. Yes, I have an apartment and I'm so grateful for it. And yes, I have money coming in and I'm grateful for it, but I'm not rich yet. Not yet. Okay. But I've literally told my son that like, if I can just give you some time, if I could just give you a hug and shower you with love and just spend time with you, that's what I'm going to do. And sometimes kids, that's all they need is love. It's all they need is quality time. And some of you have abandonment issues and like you didn't grow up in a good household. I grew up in a good household. I did. And I'm grateful. And a lot of people don't have, didn't grow up that way. So I am very sorry if that's your kind of life that you grew up in, but just know that you're loved anyway. Okay. So man in the mirror is by Michael Jackson. I'm going to make a change for once in my life. This, this is, <sighs> this is a channel message for whoever's watching this reading right now. I'm hearing 1144 too. Or 1111, listen, or 111. You're on the right path, whoever you are, if this is resonating with you. Okay, these are just, like I said, channel messages or messages that needed to get out. Whoever resonates with this song, some people cry to it. My dad used to cry to this all the time, but I'm hearing this very loudly. We are making a collective change. The more you change, the more you better and become the best version of yourself you're going to send ripple effects and domino effects in the, um, sorry, and the um, collective. I'm going to make a change for once in my life. I'm going to feel really good, going to make a difference, going to make it right. As I turn up the collar on my favorite winter coat, this wind is blowing my mind. I see the kids in the street. With not enough to eat, who am I to blind? Who am I to be blind, pretending not to see their needs? A summer's disregard, a broken bottle top, and a one man's soul. They follow each other on the wind, you know, because they got nowhere to go. That's why I want you to know. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. The song is, is going to make me cry, I swear to God. And I'm not trying to cry. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If they want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself, then make that change. Make a change. I've been a victim of a selfish kind of love. It's time that I realize that there are some with no home. See what I'm saying? Just your presence sometimes in somebody's life. Walking by somebody on the street giving somebody a blanket or some change or giving somebody something to eat. Just your mere presence is a blessing, is a gift to some people. So please, please remember that. Not a nickel to loan. 
could it really be, could it be really me pretending that they're not alone? A willow deeply scarred, someone's, somebody's broken heart, and a washed out dream, washed out dream. They follow the pattern of the wind, you see, because they got no place to be. That's why I'm starting with me. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm, I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Then it keeps going. Okay, you can't. Then you close your eyes. Close your, close, close your, your mind with the man in the mirror. Oh yeah, I'm asking him to change his ways. Better change. No message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. Going to feel real good now. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to feel real good. Come on, just lift yourself. You know, oh, I got chills everywhere. You've got to stop it yourself. Oh, I'm like ch chills everywhere from my head to my toes. Um, I'm going to make that change today, man in the mirror. You got to, you got to not let yourself, brother. Let, um, you know, make that change. I've got to get that man, that man. You've got to, you've got to move. Come on, come on. You've got to stand up, stand up, make that change. Stand up, stand up and lift yourself now. Okay. I'm looking up, what is the spiritual meaning of man in the mirror? Because I'm guided to. The theme of the song is self-transformation and the ability of everyone to make a difference in the world for the betterment of society. <laughs> a lot of you right now are going through self-transformations. A lot of you right now are ascending. A lot of you are spiritually awakening and awakening to changes that are going on in your body and in your heart and in your mind, and you're not knowing what to do. You're confused. I get it. Okay. I've had a spiritual awakening long time ago, long, long time ago, and I'm still going through lots of different transformations. It happens. But there are people that you can talk to. There really, really are. Okay. But it starts with you. If you feel like your life is shit, it starts with you. Make the change that you want. You, okay. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. You want things to change, it starts with you. You have to look in the fucking mirror and realize you are that fucking change. And you could fucking change somebody's life in an instant just by a smile. <sighs> Somebody needs to hear this message. Just a smile or just a simple hello. Just a hug. Um... Even cooking somebody a meal or like just going and into a, a homeless shelter or going to a, um, doing mission work, going to a soup kitchen. Like there's so many people out here in the world that need this help right now. And those of you that can help, God, I can feel like I'm just preaching and I'm lecturing people and I'm not trying to, but it's like those of you that really can fucking help can make a difference. And a lot of you are making a difference, whether you believe so or not. Just you waking up in the morning and coming on, if you're on a platform, and coming on and speaking your truth and helping other people with tarot or with TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or, you know, clothing lines or whatever it is, whatever you're doing matters. Whatever you are doing matters. And I know I needed to hear this message for myself today. So God was like, you need to put that out there for other people too. Do not forget who you are. Do not forget why you are here. Do not forget where you came from. Okay? There's a lot of people out there in the world right now that have so much money. And they're literally buying all these different cars and all these homes and everything else. And I understand they came from wherever they came from and they didn't have that before, but now they wanted it. And I, but there's also, you got to remember too, 
sometimes God will take things away if you're not grateful, if you're not, if you start becoming too cocky and all that, God can take things away just as quickly. That's why I usually see people on, you know, like celebrities and everything like that. And they're cocky. And I'm like, God can take that away in a second. I'm like, I, for me, I would rather like use the money to do, yes, help my kids. Yes, help myself pay off what I need to pay off. But also I want to help people. That's just, and I feel like not monetizing on here is my way of helping because I want you guys to understand my authenticity and my vulnerability and not many people can do that. And my friend told me today, you're so fucking brave and how much she loved me even more because of me being vulnerable and putting myself out here. So if I'm out here and I'm helping you, I'm so grateful that I can do that for you and I'm honored. And I'm hearing somebody here is going to be the next inspiration. I'm also seeing somebody in their 20s. Um, someone in their 20s that's um, a natural artist and that um, musician or even painting or whatever. And you're going to be able to do so much, whoever you are. But that's all I have for you today, I believe. Whatever else comes in, I'm planning on doing another video because I don't have my car and my daughter took it for the first time today by herself and took my son to the bus. So she was like, you can, you can sleep in this morning, mom. <laughs> she got everything ready for him. That was a blessing today just to sleep in an extra hour. And she had it all taken care of and she made it to school and I was very happy because I get nervous now. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, like my daughter's going to be driving my car. Oh no. And I don't worry about her, like her messing up. It's, well, I worry more about the other people, but I know I pray a lot. So if anything I can do for you, like I'll pray for you all, whoever's listening to this message. I pray that you all heal, that you find enlightenment, that you know that you're worthy and you're loved and you are powerful beings of light and you create your own reality and remember that. I pray for the world to change. Be the change you want to see in the world. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.